Joe, you've got to be happy with that for a result. Uh, yeah, I am, to be honest. I didn't even know I got third. Uh, I didn't even have a pit board out because we didn't think that this would happen because uh, race one didn't go well because uh, my visor steamed up, so we pulled in. Um, and I kind of just held in there. I didn't really push on at all because I just kept losing the rear going into corners, not even going out. So I just I just brought it home, really. didn't even realise I'd get a third. Happy surprise, then. <laughs> and I think uh, Saxony's fortune obviously helped everybody as well. But that's racing. That's what happens with these conditions. Yeah, definitely. You've got to be in it to win it, really, haven't you? 100%. Well done, Lee. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And uh, <clears throat> you were down in third for a bit, and then obviously with uh, Zach having come off, uh, that moved you up a bit there. Yeah, first half of this felt good, got a decent start. I was behind Stephen for a bit and I've just started gapping me and had a few little moments and just thought, you know what, sit sit back and save the repair bill for another time. <laughs> you were very tight in behind him actually at, at one point, you know, I wasn't quite sure uh, if you were going to slip past, but he was having none of it. <laughs> yeah, it was a good race. I got a good start, but then uh, I had a couple of issues with the, the shifter going into turn one, so then I lost a load of time. but. Uh, it was actually an easier race today just because I could actually see and my visor wasn't fogging up, so uh, that helped a little bit. That's been a common complaint this weekend. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Good race overall, so I'm happy. Brilliant, and we get to do it all again later. So huge congrats, guys. It was tough out there. Well done. Done for a blinding race. That was the order just didn't change for you guys at all. You just sat there looking quite comfortable. Yeah, I got a good start, which helped. And then uh, I just, I brought come past me and I thought I'll just settle into a pace. And yeah, it seemed, seemed quite good, really. So yeah, just wanted to stay on, which was the main thing. <laughs> absolutely, you did absolutely brilliant. Well done, mate. A good second there. You were you're very strong as, as a trio, very strong there through the whole race. Yeah, I had a moment, I think, on the second flyer and uh, that just gave Lee the gap and then I kind of rode my own race. Although Rory nearly caught me at the end and I was just riding to my pit board and then I thought uh, I'll just try and bang a fast one in at the end and fortunately I did. Excellent stuff. What the hell did you have for breakfast because you were flying? A bagel. <laughs> That's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no warm-up. I wasn't impressed with the track in warm-up. I don't think anyone was but with the rain stopping and the, it running away all the drain, it was uh, it was alright. It was just a game of survival. Just go out and get points and stay upright. And um, Dave pressured the first few laps, and then I, I just thought, well, I'll see. Just pushed that a little bit more, and it did. And obviously, it made it made a mistake, and then I just steady away then till the end. Well, yeah, you had you had a really really good gap there. I guess that sometimes that's uh, hard as well because you've got to keep that concentration when there's nobody in front of you. Yeah, when you're on your own, like yesterday, when Ben was behind me for the first few laps, so you, you, you kept the same pace, but towards the end, I just got a bit, a bit like, do lally in my helmet, and the gap come down towards the end, but now it is a bit hard to try and keep concentration, especially in horrible conditions like that, but we'll go again in the next one and see what happens. Brilliant stuff. Well done. Thank you very much, guys. Huge congrats. Pipework Spikes. Silencing the competition. Pipeworks exhaust. Silencing the competition.
good weekend all round. Uh, the podiums keep coming. Are you happy? No. <laughs> but no. Uh, we've still got a lot of work to do, but it's com confidence is a big thing in wet, and it's down, but it's coming back, so we'll get there. But, but you know, it's tough in the wet, isn't it? And when it isn't wet, then you, you know you come into your own. So hopefully, in the later rounds, you'll be able to pick some some points back up. Hopefully, can't have your man on top step every time. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right, I have faith. Well done you, you've had a cracking weekend. Well, I finished this race and not fallen off, so that's cool. Exactly, that's a bonus. Yeah, but it's back in one piece for once. It's not on fire. Bonus getting the podium. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> well done Steve, happy days, another top spot. Oh, rent a crowd are alive and well. <laughs> I know, they're happy, so I'm happy, it's all good. You know, it's uh, three out of three, so perfect weekend. That is pretty good, isn't it? And, uh, you know, you're sort of in the wilderness a little bit on some of the previous meetings, so I'm pleased for you. Yeah, thanks very much. Excellent stuff. Congratulations, guys. Safe travels on your way home. So, Warby Parker's misfortune was your uh, gain there, but that's racing, as you know. But there's been a, such an improvement with you in the wet uh, this weekend. You, you must be really proud of yourself. Yeah, I mean, I came into the first round not enjoying the wet at all, and then um, slowly throughout the weekend I've gotten faster and faster in the wet until I finally, in the final race, got to where I wanted to be. So is that three thirds this weekend? Uh, two. Two. I can't count this weekend, my head's a shed. But that is an absolutely brilliant from where you were uh, to, to where you've come to, so well done you. Thank you. Right, yo, we're happy with second. It's been a tough old weekend, hasn't it, with one thing and another? Yeah, uh, we've uh, improved the bike as well for the wet. I've struggled on the BMW, so uh, we've improved the bike. To be honest, the plan was to get away with Lee, and he, he gapped me on the first lap, and then just coming out of the old air pit, it launched him out of the seat, and I thought, oh, this is my chance to cast him up, and then it launched me out of the seat, totally random. Um, so I was a bit wary out there at there after. Yeah, yeah, you've delivered brilliantly. Second place is nothing to be uh, not happy about. And uh, all these firsts, you have got to be happy. That's been pretty well the perfect weekend. Your lap times were astounding. And that, those last four laps, you were just really opening that gap between you for getting yourself a bit more comfortable. Yeah, this, this weekend's been good. It's only the second time I'm fairly wet to have always run Michelin's. Um, but Nardi seems to be working well. That's done wonders with the bike suspension and stuff, made it like a, an IKEA sofa to ride. So it, um, it's good. You know, we're moving forward and we're staying on and we're finishing. So yeah, I'm happy. Brilliant. So I you know you don't like to look too far to the future. So you are uh, coming to Anglesey with us? Yeah, yeah, we are at Anglesey. Yeah. Be, uh... So we'll take you one race at a time. That's all you can do. You can't jump too far ahead because you know. You know what, nothing, something might happen, but now we'll go angle, see, we'll ride, and whatever happens, happens, and we'll move forward from there. Absolutely, and as you always say, steady away. <laughs> Safe travels home, guys, thank you very much.